Well, I have to apologize. I was hoping to be able to show the cart construction with all of the controls in place. Unfortunately, that video footage was lost. However, most of the construction itself was already shown in the previous videos. Really what this broke down to was the control mechanisms that'll be used to angle the plasma torch. So I used a standard turnbuckle and just welded a couple bolts in place really so I could adjust the angle of my plasma torch at will. And I simply attach that with a weld on hinge, which we'll be able to see down in here. So I basically just welded on a hinge, top and bottom. Then I split a piece of tubing, welded a couple nuts to it to make a small adjustment handle that allows me to put in my plasma torch mount and adjust it. So this allows me to adjust angle as well as direction and height. So if I want to, I could actually get an angled cut with my plasma cutter. Something like that might be good for cutting the cutting edge on a bucket, for example, loader bucket, something along those lines. But this will allow me to adjust my angle. And while the torch is in here, it provides enough weight to actually take up for that small amount of slack that's in here. And I can adjust my torch head tension here. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get the torch, get it inserted, and show you how all of this runs. Okay, so I've got my cutting torch and my ground. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp the ground to my welding table. And this particular cutting torch has a guide that's removable. I'll just take this off. And this simply inserts into here. And I can tighten it like this. There we go. Now, normally I would use this in a different orientation. This is more for video editing than anything else, this particular setup. So I've raised a small piece of scrap here. We'll adjust our height. Okay, let me get my scrap underneath. There we go. Got my height adjusted. We're a little bit off of straight, so let's bring that down. And you got to go up a little bit more. There we go. Now this particular plasma cutter has an ability to have an, um, a single press to stay on. Right now it's set for intermittent. I'm going to set it again for single press in just a moment here. But we'll back this up and make a cut across this. All right, sorry about the change in framing there, but it seemed to get a little bit better picture. I'm hoping to grab a picture of the arc being, being uh, shown through the cut. So let's see what we get here. Now with this cut, I didn't do any test adjustments. Um, whew, it's a little warm. I didn't adjust the pilot arc, the length, distance, um, any of those. This is my very first cut with it. So I probably could get a little straighter cut. But I did have an angle to it. So we can see that I've got a bevel on my cut. I basically, uh, I think I needed more air pressure going through there. But you can see how clean of a cut that actually made. That is a beautiful cut. I think playing around with that, I'll be able to get some really, really nice cuts out of that. Let's see what happens if I knock this slag off of here.
There we go. That came out pretty nicely. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'd love to hear any professionals' comments or suggestions on you know, adjusting this. I honestly think I just didn't have enough air to blast straight through. I think my, uh, my plasma was pretty straight. Just didn't seem to have the air required. Whew. That's still a little too hot to handle, even with the welding gloves. But thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you got any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer anything I can.